So this is the start of my next series where I'm going to be going over how to use TypeScript, Next.js, and GraphQL together. So in this project, we're going to be doing a few things. In this video, we're going to start off with just setting up a project with Next.js. And then we're going to get into setting up Apollo to send GraphQL requests. And we're also going to be dealing with setting it up so when we're doing server-side rendering with Next.js, that we're also sending the cookie for authentication in there as well. Then we're going to be using something called GraphQL Code Generator. This is going to be used to create types for our TypeScript code automatically. And it's going to pull this information from our GraphQL server. Then we're going to be going over creating a register form. We're going to be taking errors that may come from when users are signing up for your application and how to handle those. We're then going to go into logging users in, storing cookies for them, and then creating routes that are authenticated and you must be logged in to access. We're also going to go over how to handle forget and changing of passwords, and then lastly, logging users out. Now this is going to be the front end series and we're just going to be focusing on the uh, front end part of this and building this out in Next.js. Uh, this is going to be basically an extension and using the server for a past series that I did in type GraphQL. So if you're interested in actually building a GraphQL server, I recommend watching this series. I'll link it below. If you're only interested in working on the front end and working through this series, I'm going to have instructions in the readme here uh, that you can go through to set up this project and you can just have it running in the background um, and there's no need to actually go through coding it. So what we're going to do is start setting up Next.js right now. And so what I like to do is to set it up is use this example, the with TypeScript example and the Next.js repo. So to get this started, we just need to run mpx create next app and then we pass in that we want the with TypeScript example, and then we just name our project. So I already ran this, and so I have this open in VS Code right now, and so I just called mine TypeScript Next.js GraphQL series, and then this is what you should see when you run that command. Now the only th other thing I want to mention real quick, it, quickly is during this series, I'm going to go ahead and just say file add folder to workspace, and I'm just going to add the type GraphQL series, in case we have to touch anything with the server, I don't think we're going to need to, uh, but in case there's any small changes that we're going to need to make, and this is where I'm going to just start up the server. So I'm going to say yarn start and have that just running in the background the entire time. All right, so while that's going, I just want to just go over a little bit about Next.js. So first off, what you have here is to get this started, you just run yarn dev. Um, and this will start up the Next.js server, and you can now go to localhost, localhost 3000 to view it. Um, and we're gonna see a little hello page. Now we can start clicking on stuff, and you'll notice it'll load some stuff. This is just some dummy data that they have in their page. So the first thing that's good to know about Next.js is it uses server-side rendering, um, and it also has its own uh, routing system built into it. So what you'll notice on the navigation or the little uh, folder on the side here, pages, um, is there's an about page, an index, a list class, and a list FC. So in Next.js, whatever you name the file in this pages folder, it's gonna automatically create a route for you. So what that means is since we have a about page, if I go to slash about, it's gonna render that page. Um, same thing if I go to slash list class, or I can click on it here, um, list class or list FC. So again, it's mapping each one of those and index.ts maps to here. The other cool thing about Next.js is as you make changes to the code, and we're going to be doing a lot of changes, it's going to automatically uh, change it on the page. It uses hop module reloading. So for example, I see hello Next.js here in the index page, and I can just get rid of the uh, uppercase H for example, give it a save, um, and you'll notice it'll, without me even having to refresh the page, it just automatically kind of populates there and changes, and that is hot module reloading working for you. 
Anyway, we're going to be digging more into this in the next video where we're going to set up Apollo, but I recommend just kind of looking through these files and you'll see just some React code and you'll notice there's some TypeScript code uh, and some types that you can see.